Such emotional scenes from last week in the 13-member college football playoff selection committee. One more ranking before the final one is going to be revealed shortly. They finish up their meetings in Grapevine, Texas today. Glad to have you with us. College football playoff top 25. 30-minute edition tonight with the Big Ten ACC Challenge coming up. Bottom of the hour, Reese Davis, Kirk Herbstreet, David Pollock, and Joey Galloway. Let's take a look at the Capital One rewarding performances to set the stage. Michigan snapped that eight-game loser against Ohio State. A splendid offensive line performance. Hassan Haskins was brilliant with five touchdowns. 42-27, Buckeyes virtually eliminated. Bedlam, same deal for Oklahoma, virtually eliminated. Oklahoma State winning 37-33, snapping the six-game losing streak in what proved to be Lincoln Riley's final game as Oklahoma head coach. The rest of the top six, Alabama coming back in Lazarus-like fashion against Auburn. Cincinnati took care of business as well. So did Notre Dame, and Notre Dame is now without a coach as well. To the Fighting Irish beat Stanford, and Brian Kelly was hired away by LSU, there is Brian Kelly arriving in Baton Rouge today. Rather unusual scene. We're going to hear quite a bit from Brian coming up over the next few days. So, gentlemen, let's get to it. 30 minutes. We've got to unveil the rankings. And this week, the rankings are brought to you by AT&T 5G. Texas A&M is back in or actually hanging in, dropping 10 spots. Louisiana, one loss. They'll play for the conference championship this weekend. Houston plays Cincinnati, Arkansas, and Kentucky, Joey. Yeah, Houston's been on a heck of a run, winning 11 in a row now. And now they're up to 21. It took a while for Houston to finally get inside the rankings. Now getting a little bit more respect, and they matter because they play in the American Championship against a Cincinnati team that I expect will be inside the top four when we see it tonight. Yeah, Louisiana against Appalachian State. Speaking of coaches, Billy Napier leaving there after that game to go to be the head coach at Florida. Let's continue on up the rankings at number 20. The Clemson Tigers up three spots. They finished off against South Carolina. San Diego State will play for the Mountain West Championship. NC State, Utah, and Wake Forest in this group, David. Yeah, and I don't see Wisconsin, Reese. So that's, you know, when you talk about looking at Notre Dame's best win of the season, not right here. I'm not sure if we'll see them. I don't think we'll see them from their point on. But Utah obviously been climbing. NC State, you talk about Lazarus' performance. Holy cow. But Clemson, yeah, marching their way back up into the rankings. I yeah, would be surprised to see Wisconsin, too, after the Badgers lost. Missed out on a chance to go to the Big Ten championship game, falling against Minnesota and losing Paul Bunyan's axe. The next group, starting at number 15, Pitt will play Wake Forest for the ACC championship. Pitt with a chance to win its first outright conference title of any kind. As you probably know, they were an independent for years and years. Oklahoma falls four more spots. Iowa's playing in the Big Ten championship game up three spots, Herbie, before they take on Michigan. Yeah, it's good to see the Hawkeyes have bounced back. Ten wins in the regular season. From phenomenal effort by Kirk Ferentz and his bunch. We keep talking about Kalani Sataki every week. I think they've been a, a pleasant surprise at ten wins. And how about Mel Tucker after the you know Michigan State went to Columbus, got embarrassed, go back home, all the noise off the field about his contract. They go out in the snow and take care of business in a rivalry game, and they're close to being in the top ten as we get uh, near the uh, end of the regular season and into championship Saturday. Yeah, and you know, Kirk, Michigan State was battling the flu last weekend. And, and a shout out to BYU, who ought to be honorary Pac-12 champion since the Cougars finished up 5-0 yeah. against Pac-12 competition after beating USC over the weekend. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.